Today I'm going to show you a number of different alternatives to egg wash. What do they do for the look and feel of the crust? Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you 10 different ways to brush your bread before baking and we'll have a look at what it does for the look and the feel of the crust of your bread. You may want to give your bread or rolls a distinctive look, so I'm going to test all of them for you. To be able to test as many as possible, I'm making rolls so I can bake all 10 different methods at the same time. What I'm going to try is 1. Nothing 2. Regular milk 3. Buttermilk 4. Cream 5. Water 6. Coffee 7. Egg wash 8. Egg yolk 9. Creme fraiche and 10. Soy sauce I'll make the dough from my crusty sourdough rolls recipe, but scale the rolls up to 150 grams per roll to have more surface area to inspect. If you want the full recipe for these delicious crusty rolls, follow the link in the card above. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. The dough for these rolls is made with 80% bread flour and 20% whole grain rye flour. The hydration is 70% so that the rolls can keep their shape while fermenting since we cannot use bannetons. The salt content is just about 2%. The inoculation is 20%. A lot of people have been asking me about my bulking containers, but unfortunately those I have been using so far are only available in Denmark. So I've decided to switch over to something that's available everywhere. They are plastic containers from Cambro. They're easily stackable. They have a gauge on the outside of the container and they seal easily. They're made from a thick polycarbonate and seem very sturdy and unbreakable. I've gotten three different sizes, one loaf, two loaves, and four loaves. In this video, I'm using the one loaf container for the dough. If you're interested in purchasing them, there are links in the description for all three. As always, those are affiliate links, meaning that if you purchase them through this link, I will get a percentage of the sale. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the experiment. First, I mix all the ingredients to form a dough. Then I put the dough in a bulking container and put the dough straight to fermentation. After it's grown about 25%, I divide the dough into 10 equally sized pieces. Then I shape each piece of dough into a ball. Which I then place on a baking sheet with parchment paper on it.
I spray a piece of plastic wrap with baking spray and place on the top of the rolls. Then the rolls ferment for an hour while the oven is heating. After the hour is up, I grab the pan of rolls. Then I put water on the first roll. I try to brush them in the order of least taste to most taste. Then regular skim milk. Then buttermilk. Whipping cream. This one is left au natural. Coffee. Then egg wash. Egg yolk. This was going to be egg spray, but I have no idea where it went, so it's crumb fresh instead. The last one is covered in soy sauce. Then I put them in the oven. And I pour boiling water into the steaming pan. And bake for 10 minutes. Then I remove the steaming pan and turn down the oven. And bake for 15 minutes more. Then the rolls are ready and I take them out of the oven. To let them cool on a wire rack. Now it's time to inspect the rolls. They all look nice and edible. Some are a bit browner than the rest. Noticeably the ones brushed with water, coffee, eggs, creme fraiche, and soy sauce. Let's have a look at them up close. Milk, it's crunchy. Nice crust with a bit of oven spring. Buttermilk. This one looks quite like the first one. Crunchy too. Whipping cream. This one has a broken crust that reminds me of tiger rolls. Looks very cool. Water. This one looks like the milk rolls. This one wasn't brushed, but still it looks like the milk rolls. Coffee. This is somewhat darker. Maybe it's because it was a dark liquid. Egg wash. This one is nice and glossy and pretty dark. Seems a little less crunchy than the rest. Egg yolk. This one is super glossy and also the darkest one of the bunch. From Fresh. This one is pretty dark too. Very crunchy. Soy sauce. This one is very dark too. Crunchy and fragrant. Okay, so now I'll taste test them all. Milk seems normal. No different taste or smell than a regular sourdough bread. Buttermilk. This one has a bit of a tangy smell, but you cannot detect it in the taste. Whipping cream. This one tastes like the first two. Water. Seems perfectly normal. Nothing. Same as both milks and water. 
which is not surprising. Coffee. While this is darker, there's no special taste or smell. Egg wash. The taste is no different, but the crust is a lot less crispy. Egg yolk. Same taste again, but even less crispy. Creme fraiche. While it's very crunchy, it tastes the same. Soy sauce. Yum. This one is the first one that tastes different. Also, the soy sauce kind of gives it a salty hint on your tongue. That's delicious. So, interestingly enough, there's not a lot of difference. The standouts look-wise were egg wash, egg yolk, and cream. Taste-wise, the only one that was different was the one glazed with soy sauce. And I gotta say that tasted really good, so it might be worth trying it in an Asian-inspired sourdough bread. So did I forget to test some alternatives? Put your suggestions in the comments. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.